So I wanted to give you guys a quick update, if you've been curious, um, about what's going on. Um, the long story short is that I fell down. I fainted. Uh, I was, um, had a busy Saturday. I taught Saturday school, and I did some things after that. A lot of things were outside. And during this time, I didn't drink a lot of water. Um, I just wasn't aware of it, which is a good lesson for you guys. To always make sure you're drinking lots of water. Um, anyway, around 9 o'clock, some friends and I were hanging out at an arcade. Um, if you're not aware of what an arcade is, you can just think of like Fortnite. On like a big machine. Um, that's much more simpler. Um, but it's what we used to play when I was, a, well, when I was your age. Uh, so, um, I remember feeling kind of uh, warm and hot. And then the darkness just kind of starts to come in, and it felt faint in the past, and, you know, usually something I can overcome by, well, drinking water or getting to a cool area or sitting down for a while, but at this particular moment, I just couldn't or wouldn't. I just thought I could push through it. So I was playing an arcade game, started to feel this, um, and then uh, basically fainted forward into the machine and hit myself on my head. Um, and then the result was that really this is the, this is the least of it. Um, pretty good cut, but, um, I bounced off the machine to just my head kind of snapped back and that snap, um, bro bro broke my neck. There was a, you know, several vertebrae, they're all numbered. Um, and there's different areas of your back, your spine. Um, and the area right here in your head to your neck is called the cervical vertebrae. Um, and in between each bone is a little spongy disc that absorbs the chakra so you can bend your neck and bend your spine. It's like this sponge in it. Um, and so I, when I snapped back, I shattered one of the vertebrae and then also destroyed the disc in between what they call the C6 and C7 vertebrae. The doctor said I did a really good job of destroying that disc. Um, and so in the surgery, I'll post a link to the actual surgery. It's kind of graphic, so those of you guys who are into that, you can see what they actually did to me. Um, but it's really bloody, so if you're not into that, then don't watch that. It's not me, it's another person, but um, it's the same procedure. So uh, I um, went in the ambulance. The hospital, the emergency room, which is interesting. Not an experience you want to do. Those of you who've been there, it's not a really fun place. Um, especially if you're not like life threatening, though my injury was significant, it wasn't life threatening, so I'm not like a high priority. So you tend to sit there a long time. For my case, I was lying down a long time. Uh, so about 12 hours later, so I go in around 9 30 Saturday night. Around 10, I get the news, like, I'm going to need surgery. I really jacked up my back. And so they do a bunch of tests to make sure you can have surgery, and they do a bunch of x-rays and stuff like that. And then they, um, so they said, yeah, we're going to need surgery Monday. Like, okay. And at this point, I should say, like, um, the moment I woke up from this fall, I was lucky to be with friends. Um, and when I woke up, I had just, like, a pretty good pain in my right arm. Just like I hit my funny bone, if you've ever done that. Um, but pretty good like worse than a funny bone hit and for it won't go away and these fingers are numb just don't seem to work uh and that was like that for 12 hours and in the hospital they give you pain medication stuff but it's still it's it's there um they want to give you just enough to you know have it tolerable not so much like if they don't know precisely what they're going to do they're not going to give you too much medicine so it's uncomfortable when i'm lying on my back and i can't get up um the pain is such i can't sit up at all and after 12 hours it gets kind of old anyway so monday they do the surgery i go into surgery is the easy part they put you under um they put you to sleep they give you some medicine and you just go to sleep and you don't remember any of it so now i'm on the recovery end of it which um so you can see where the they went in here through my neck i go to the back the things. Um, 
So after surgery, they want to observe you, make sure you're not dizzy, you're not going to faint again. Um, if the surgery went well, they manage your pain. Um, they give you a bunch of medicine to keep the inflammation down and stuff like that. Um, so long story short, I'm feeling good now, um, but we were not really quite sure what's going on for a few days after the surgery. So, you know, each day is kind of different in recovery. You have experienced pain in different areas, so um, we have to manage that. Until I'm sort of I'm certain I'm on the way up out of recovery, I really can't come back to school. Um, but my hope is that by Monday or Tuesday, I can be back in school. Um, for you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's in a nutshell what happened. Um, so I hope to see you guys soon. Um, and that could be as soon as Monday or Tuesday. Um, I'm hoping. If the doctors say it's okay and I feel good. Um, I'm going to go back. Uh, bad day. Um, so hopefully we'll see you then. Until then, keep up the good work. We'll see ya. Uh, drink some water, always.